Above us, the sky is never truly calm. It's a restless ocean of air, constantly shifting and brewing. Even on the sunniest days, invisible currents and powerful forces are at work, shaping the weather we experience. The atmosphere is a living, breathing system, always in motion, always evolving. From the gentle drift of clouds to the sudden eruption of storms, the sky is a stage for nature's most dramatic performances. Most days, we barely notice these subtle changes overhead. We go about our routines, glancing up only when rain threatens or thunder rumbles in the distance. But today is different. Today marks the beginning of a dramatic global weather shift, one that will touch millions of lives, from bustling cities to quiet rural towns. Far above, forces set in motion over the vast Indian and Pacific Oceans are gathering strength. These distant disturbances are about to send ripples across the globe, their energy traveling thousands of miles to reach North America. In the coming days, we'll see everything from tropical storms lashing the coasts to an early taste of winter sweeping down from the north. The atmosphere is connecting continents, linking weather events in ways that are both complex and awe-inspiring. This isn't just a passing front, it's a large-scale atmospheric shakeup with real consequences for our daily lives. The air above us is about to become a battleground of warm and cold, wet and dry, calm and chaotic. The changes will be felt not just in the skies, but on the ground, in the choices we make and the challenges we face. Travel plans will be disrupted as flights are delayed or rerouted. Farmers will watch the skies anxiously, hoping their crops survive the onslaught of rain or frost. Even your daily wardrobe choices will be affected, as you reach for raincoats, umbrellas, or even winter hats much earlier than expected. The ripple effects of this atmospheric upheaval will touch every aspect of our routines. Some communities will brace for flooding and high winds, preparing sandbags and emergency supplies. Others will wake to find an early freeze coating the landscape in ice, catching many off guard. The variety and intensity of these weather events will test our resilience and adaptability. The recent storms in Louisiana were just the opening act. A warning of what's to come. Downed trees, flooded neighborhoods, and heroic efforts by emergency crews have shown us how quickly conditions can change, and how vital it is to be prepared. Over the next 10 days, we'll track hurricanes swirling in the Atlantic, powerful coastal storms battering the shorelines, and frigid Arctic air plunging southward. Each of these events is a piece of a much larger puzzle, a global system in flux, where every change in one region can trigger a cascade of effects elsewhere. So, what does this mean for you and your loved ones? Let's break down what's coming, explore the science behind these changes, and learn how to prepare for the wild ride ahead. The sky above may be restless, but with knowledge and preparation, we can weather whatever comes our way. To understand this surge in activity, meet the Madden-Julian Oscillation, or MJO, a massive pulse of rain and storms that circles the tropics every month or two. The MJO doesn't create storms directly, but it primes the atmosphere, lowering wind shear and making it easier for storms to form and intensify. Right now, a strong MJO is setting the stage for storm development from the Gulf of Mexico to the Atlantic. This invisible hand is why forecasters are suddenly on high alert for tropical activity. The MJO has flipped the switch from quiet to active, and the Western Hemisphere is about to feel the effects. With the MJO, Madden Julian Oscillation, now influencing the tropics, the stage is set for a dramatic shift in Atlantic weather. This powerful atmospheric pulse acts like a conductor, orchestrating bursts of storm activity across the ocean. When the MJO is active it can tip the balance, making conditions ripe for tropical development. As a result, the Atlantic is waking up with not just one but two significant systems demanding our attention. Meteorologists are closely monitoring these areas, as both have the potential to impact land and sea in the coming days. First up is Invest 95L, a classic tropical wave that has just rolled off the coast of Africa. This system is following a well-worn path, gathering moisture and energy 
as it moves westward across the warm Atlantic waters. Each day, its chances of organizing into Tropical Storm Jerry are increasing, and forecasters are watching for signs of strengthening. The second system is a more immediate concern, a storm expected to form from a stalled cold front lingering near the Bahamas. Unlike the slow-building tropical wave, this system is being rapidly energized by the warm waters and a surge of atmospheric instability, making it a potential threat to the U.S. coastline in a much shorter time frame. Think of Invest 95L as the marathon runner, methodically making its way across the Atlantic, with plenty of time for forecasters to analyze its every move. Its journey is long, and its impacts, if any, are still days away. In contrast, the front-induced system is the sprinter, developing quickly, with little warning, and racing toward the U.S. coast. Its rapid pace means, communities may have only a short window to prepare for possible impacts. Both systems have the potential to intensify rapidly, but each presents unique challenges. The marathon runner tests our ability to forecast days in advance, while the sprinter demands immediate action and swift decision-making from emergency managers and residents alike. For those living along the coast, this means staying alert and being ready to act. Whether it's preparing for a long-range threat or responding to a sudden storm, readiness is key to staying safe. The next 10 days will be critical as these systems evolve. Forecast models will shift, tracks may change, and new information will emerge, keeping meteorologists and the public on their toes. With multiple storms brewing, the Atlantic hurricane season is officially in high gear. This is the time of year when vigilance and preparation can make all the difference. As we watch these two stories unfold, we're reminded of the power and unpredictability of nature. Stay tuned, because the next chapter in this tale is just beginning. Let's focus on Invest 95L, the distant traveler. Right now it's a messy cluster of storms in the central Atlantic, but it's moving into a zone primed for development. Forecast models agree, it will track west-northwest, then likely curve north before reaching the Lesser Antilles, thanks to a blocking high-pressure system. If it strengthens, it could become Hurricane Jerry, but it's expected to stay mostly over open water, a fish storm. The main impacts, higher surf and rip currents for the islands, but little direct threat. Still, forecasts can change, so meteorologists are watching closely. For now, Invest 95L is a powerful reminder of the tropics' potential, even from afar. The Atlantic is alive, even if this storm stays at sea. The second system is a bigger concern for the U.S., a storm set to form from a stalled cold front and warm Gulf Stream, waters near the southeast coast. By Friday, a low-pressure center will likely develop, then track north along the coast, fueled by the MJO's favorable conditions. This storm could bring damaging winds, coastal flooding and tornadoes from the Carolinas to New England. Major weather models agree. A significant east coast storm is coming, with only minor differences in track and intensity. Residents along the coast should prepare for a potentially disruptive weekend. The setup is there for a major fall weather event. Meanwhile, in the eastern Pacific, Tropical Storm Priscilla is organizing and will soon send a surge of moisture into the U.S. southwest. Priscilla won't make landfall as a hurricane, but its remnants will ride the jet stream into Arizona, Utah, and parts of California and Nevada. This atmospheric river will bring heavy rain and flash flood risks to the desert southwest from Friday through Sunday. Dry ground can't absorb sudden downpours, turning arroyos and canyons into dangerous torrents. Flash flood watches will be needed across the region. It's a vivid example of how distant storms can trigger local hazards. While the east braces for wind and rain, the southwest prepares for a flood threat from a different ocean. As storms gather on the horizon, a powerful blast of Arctic air is surging southward, setting the stage for a dramatic shift in the nation's weather. The atmosphere is charged with anticipation as meteorologists track this unusually early cold front, which is poised to sweep across vast stretches of the country. For millions, this means bundling up much sooner than expected, as an early and intense chill grips cities and towns from the heartland to the coasts. The sudden drop in temperature is catching many off guard with frosty mornings and biting winds making it feel more like mid-winter than autumn. Frost and freeze warnings are already lighting up weather maps in the northern plains and the Rockies, where fields and forests are waking up under a shimmering layer of ice. Farmers and gardeners are rushing to protect late crops and delicate plants from the season's first real threat of frostbite. 
Overnight lows are plunging into the 20s and 30s, turning car windshields into icy canvases and making morning commutes a chilly ordeal. For many, it's a stark reminder that winter is just around the corner. By midweek, this cold air mass will surge eastward, spreading its icy grip across the central and eastern United States. Cities that just days ago enjoyed mild, sunny afternoons will soon find themselves shivering under thick cloud cover and brisk winds. Even the south won't be spared, as highs in the 40s and 50s reach all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Palm trees sway in the chilly breeze, and residents accustomed to warmth are digging out sweaters and jackets. Blustery winds will make it feel even colder than the thermometer suggests, with wind chills dropping temperatures by several more degrees. People are bracing against the gusts, clutching hats and scarves as they hurry through the streets. The Rockies and Northeast will feel the brunt of this Arctic invasion, with snow-capped peaks and city streets alike swept by frigid, relentless winds. For some, it's the first taste of winter's harshness this season. This cold snap is being reinforced by a negative phase of the Arctic Oscillation, a powerful atmospheric pattern that's funneling cold air straight from the polar regions into the lower 48. Weather models show deep blue and purple shades blanketing the map, signaling just how unusual and widespread this chill will be. It's as if someone has opened the door to the Arctic, letting winter-like air pour in and settle over the country. The transition is abrupt, and for many, it feels like autumn has been cut short overnight. The sudden temperature drop will be a shock for millions, with people checking thermometers in disbelief and sharing stories of how quickly the weather has changed. Social media is abuzz with photos of frosty mornings and unexpected snow flurries. In many places, the transition from lingering warmth to winter's chill is happening almost overnight. Melting snow refreezes on sidewalks and yesterday's sunshine is replaced by a biting, persistent cold. Along the coast, the incoming cold will collide with a developing storm system, creating a volatile mix of cold rain, gusty winds, and even some wet snow in spots. The interaction between these forces making for a challenging and unpredictable forecast. Meteorologists are closely monitoring the situation, analyzing complex forecast models as the cold front and coastal storm interact. The evolving weather patterns are keeping forecasters on their toes, as small changes could mean big differences for local impacts. From coast to coast, it's time to dig out winter gear, ready or not. Whether you're in the mountains, the plains, or along the shore, this nationwide chill is a clear signal that winter is on the way, and it's arriving with a vengeance. These atmospheric shifts will disrupt daily life across the country. On the East Coast, forget fall outings, prepare for high winds, flooding, and possible power outages. Travel will be difficult, with flight delays and dangerous driving from Charlotte to Boston. In the Southwest, flash flooding could close roads and threaten rural communities. Agriculture will take a hit. Early freezes threaten crops in the Midwest, while storms could damage orchards and fields in the East. The economic ripple effects will be felt everywhere, from retail to farming. Above all, the stress and uncertainty remind us how much our lives are shaped by the atmosphere. This week's weather is a powerful reminder of our planet's interconnected climate system. The MJO, East Coast Storm, Pacific Moisture, and Arctic Blast are converging to impact nearly everyone. Preparation is key review emergency plans, heed local warnings, and stay informed. These events highlight the importance of understanding weather science and respecting nature's power. We can't control the storms, but we can control how we respond. With knowledge and preparation, we can face whatever the sky brings. The atmosphere is restless, but we can be ready.